We're starting our attack run. What's up everybody, Derek here, and today I want to show you the boat that I built in my shed, and we are going to take this thing out in the water and test it. It's basically 64 inches wide by 8 foot long. The pontoons are made out of fiberglass that are wrapped in about 3 to 4 layers. And it has a thin sheet of plywood on the top. And I built an aluminum frame. They have two frames that go along each pontoon that clip in with clips. No bolts anywhere. So this entire frame detaches. So the pontoons can be laid up in a truck bed. Uh, you could probably just barely fit a cover over it if you have a truck bed cover and you could haul this around so no need going and picking up the kayak and going if you want if you're a bank fisherman this could change everything that I do with bank fishing no more bank fishing I could basically go to where I want to fish and say it's really grown up during the summertime and there's all kinds of snakes all over the place I can actually put this thing together and head out uh, out there and go fishing detach it throw it back in the bed and gone so this could change everything with my fishing. It weighs 80 pounds. It's a little on the heavy side, but I know in this thing where I could actually reduce some of the weight. I could probably get about 10 pounds off of this thing and it would be virtually the same weight as a, as a 12 foot kayak. And that's almost ridiculous with aluminum and just fiberglass alone. I floated it down here about 100 yards and it was awesome. Side to side is going to be no issue with the 64 inches, but the 8 foot length of it is going to be, eh, it's going to be something we're going to just test on where we're going to need to stand to put our weight to kind of displace it evenly. But I noticed just from floating along that it was about 6 inches from the top of these pontoons which are 12 foot deep, or 12 inches deep. So the back pontoons are about six inches underwater and this thing on the front basically floats and if you're looking at it and it looks kind of cool I actually molded that from my Pelican 120 so let me lift it up if that looks like the front of a kayak it is I molded that entire section off the front and then finished off the sides and everything else it's just basically kind of like a prototype but we're going to go out here and test it. I'm going to put the chest cam on and we're going to leave this cam running and we're going to put an underwater camera out there so we can get some good footage of this thing because I don't know how it's going to react. All right, all we need is our paddle here uh, and we can get this thing out here. I don't know how particular it's going to be on the front. Yeah, that's not holding a ton of weight right there but let's see what it does with the weight oh yeah it's not too bad not bad at all basically I'm standing right there at the front of where my deck is and it's pretty evenly balanced Man, you can turn this thing on a dime. But, let's come out here in the current and see what it does. Of course, going downstream is going to be super easy. So let's try, see what that does. And there's some current that kind of mixes around right in here it's kind of wide as far as the strokes the strokes are kind of wide on this thing but it's not that bad I like it already I could definitely fish off this thing Yeah, it maneuvers really good. 
I'm just curious. Let's try backing up. How's backup work? Not bad at all. Stability. Dang. How far forward can I go? And it's still, it's fairly stable like that. Not bad, as long as I can balance myself. Now if I go backwards, towards the back, the very back, I can start, no, it's the front end starting to pick up a little bit. Man, this thing right there, that's my foot placement right there. That's it. Can I stand on one side? Might be kind of sketchy, but man, I can. Let's see if I can stand on this pontoon. Oh yeah, very easily. Man, this thing is super sturdy. Well, this thing surprised me so much. It worked so well. Turns on a dime. I could actually stand on the outside pontoons and there's pretty much one little circle for the size of my feet if I stand in that one spot that I can basically 360 and have no issues. It's perfect. So I don't know, I, it's only eight foot long and I think that's why it turns on a dime but it floats really good. The back pontoons go a little bit deeper than the front end because of where I stand, but they're probably six to eight inches from the top water line on where I stand with this thing to even it out. So it's not too bad because a lot of people are questioning the size of the pontoons. They're 12 inches wide, 12 inches deep and four foot long, but I don't know. I want to take this thing fishing so bad. Next time I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to take this thing fishing. So I'm ready. And if you guys got any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll answer anything you guys got on how I built it. Because I have not seen anybody build anything similar. I've seen people make like one sheet plywood boats and stuff like that. But nothing like this. But thanks for watching you guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.